How come Japanese women are so slim? I just don't know what's the correct portions to eat. This is the question that I've been recently receiving from many of you. To answer these questions, I'll monitor myself to reveal everything by showing what I ate all day while listing calories. I'm not saying I am slim. I'm in the standard of Japanese women in their late 30s. I'm relatively short, but not too thin, not too fat. I guess a perfect example. Waking up 5 in the morning, boil the water and cook the rice. While it's been cooked, do some morning yoga for 15 minutes before kids wake up. In Japan, it's common to sleep with the kids in the same bed until they become around 5. I always have two boys next to me until we got the bunk bed two months ago. I couldn't roll over back then and I always wake up with a stiff neck and back pain so I really need to stretch myself to get ready for a day. My 3 years old boy still wants to hold my hands when he goes to bed so my arm is always in the weird positions. Then drink some hot water with yuzu and make bento box and breakfast. Get my kids ready and of course my husband helps me a lot. During that time, I don't usually sit down and eat. I just munch on some apples in the kitchen since I'm too busy to prepare everything. When I eat something in a hurry, I found myself tends to overeat. I don't even realize how much I eat. This is the breakfast for my family. I have a recipe of Japanese egg omelette and Chinese cabbage pickle if you guys want to cook some for yourself. Link is on the description box below. After kids left with, with my husband, I could finally sit down and eat. This is today's breakfast. Avocado rice bowl, miso soup with loads of veggies, and carrot and broccoli stem simmered with sweet soy sauce. We call this kimpira in Japanese. The total calorie is 900 including apple. Let me quickly show you how I made this avocado bowl because I really want you guys to try this. It's so easy but delicious. First, peel the skin of avocado and remove the seeds. And I recommend using ripe avocado because we're gonna mash it up. Mine was still too hard to mash so ending up cutting into small chunks. Drizzle some lemon juice to retain the vibrant green color. If you have a fresh one, that will be better. Chop some celery for the crunchy texture. Any crunchy veggies like onion, cucumber, shallot will be a great substitution. Drain the oil of canned tuna and add it to the avocado. You can skip the tuna if you are plant paste. Sprinkle some salt. Drizzle some soy sauce. Then add homemade vegan mayo. You can also add cream cheese, sour cream, and Greek yogurt as a sub. It's up to you. My homemade vegan mayo contains tofu. It's protein packed. I have a recipe video on that. Please go to the description box for the link. Mix them well all together. Then top the generous amount on the rice. Garnish some spring onion and black pepper if you want to. This is so, so good. One of my quick lunch staple. I added Chinese cabbage, daikon radish into my miso soup. And for kimpira, I shredded carrot and broccoli stem in match sticks. The outer side of the broccoli stem is a little bit fibrous to eat, but I always keep inside for making stir fry or soups. Then simmer with some soy sauce, sugar, and mirin together with soybeans for the extra protein. I love to enjoy with nori seaweed. 
It's like a mini sushi. You might be surprised, but I still crave for something sweet. So usually have some dark chocolate with tea or coffee. Today I have a ginger black tea almond latte. This milk former is one of the best kitchen gadget I bought from Daiso in 2020. There is nothing excited on my ordinary day, but a little bit of indulgence made me so happy. I need this fluffy milk form to make myself happy. So do you guys have any small happy moment for yourself? Around 1 p.m., I started to feel hungry again. So since my breakfast is usually pretty heavy, it's feeling enough to hold my stomach up until this time. Here is my lunch. Soy milk miso soup, natto topped with some spring onion and egoma oil, which is high in omega-3 fat, and the rice. I love to mix some seeds and beans into my rice. I have a couple miso soup recipes, so again, the link is in the description box. The total calorie is 700 calories, including snack and latte. I have to have something to munch on in the afternoon, so I grab some cookies from Muji to enjoy with kids later on. You guys know how much I love Muji by now. It's 3 p.m., so time to pick up my kids. I always bike. One of my sons goes to nursery and the other one goes to kindergarten, so it usually took me 40 minutes to pick them up and, and come back home. This is probably the only exercise I do, but if you are living in Tokyo, you will more likely to go everywhere on foot because the transportation system is very good. That's one factor that keeps Japanese fit on a daily basis. Coming back home, I enjoyed some green tea and three crackers with strawberry jam as a filling. It's about 200 calories. By the way, this day, I was working from home, wrote a script for YouTube. Just writing a script usually takes me at least two hours since everything is in English. I go to Google Translate and find the right word for you guys to understand. So when you leave a comment that you enjoy the video, I'm very relieved that my video is good enough to understand. So thank you so, so much for your kind comments. I check every single comment from all of you. For dinner, I'm making tomato pasta and some soup for kids. This tomato sauce only contains tomato, garlic, olive oil, and salted rice malt. You can't imagine how good this is. It has a depth in flavor but still so fresh. It's happened to be vegan so you guys have to try this recipe if you have access to salted rice malt, also known as shiokoji in Japanese. My kids usually have a dinner at 6 p.m. However, I won't be hungry until around 8 p.m. So I just had some soup for dinner with kids. The soup contains burdock, carrot, onion, kabocha squash, mushrooms, and mixed beans, and many more. Seasoned with some Japanese curry powder, herbs, and veggie broth. And oh, also I added soy milk to make it creamy. It's not a Japanese food, so I didn't film how to cook it, but if you guys want, I can make a recipe about that. So let me know in the comment section below. Kids had a blueberry for dessert, so I had some too. The total calorie for the dinner is 250 calories. And the total calories in a day is 2050 calories. By the way, as a disclaimer, this is what I just calculated according to the app, so <laughs> might not be so accurate. I never check myself until I decide to film this. One thing I realized is that I eat a lot of fermented stuff like natto, miso, paste, even soy sauce to treat my guts well. In fact, I have not been constipated for more than 5 years. And also, I naturally take most of my calories in the morning so that my body has some time to digest and burn some calories. I wasn't intentionally doing this. Becoming a morning person allows me to have these eating habits, I guess. I also listen to my hunger cue. I only eat when I'm hungry. That's it for today. Did you guys enjoy this? I hope this video gave you some new inspiration. Are you a morning person? Or which meal do you eat the most? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Matane. Bye bye.